Good morning. First of all, I would like to thank uh, Patil sir, your principal sir, Bala sir, and uh, Jaswant sir for inviting me for this talk. Actually, I was on uh, South India tour due for recruitment purpose since last one week. So he requested me to interact with you people. So I will try my best to give you a uh, little about our wind energy, how we are producing power, what is renewable energy. These are all theoretical so already you have studied during your course of uh, engineering. But little more we are going to say our uh, industry related practices, maintenance practices, operation practices, whatever things at present we are doing that we will share with you. And government is also more focused on renewable energy as you know, solar and wind. Right? These are two emerging fields. Uh, progress of any country is decided by consumption of three factors that is steel, cement and electricity consumption. If you study uh, this data then easily you can identify whether this country is progressing or not. And electricity is always in huge demand because of uh, development in our country, right? So we are thermal resources, thermal power plant is not in a position to cope up with our present demand. So we always look for more options like wind, solar, and other, right? And uh, in line with that, today's session is planned. So we are try our best to deliver things whatever we have. We are doing at our front. Actually, ours is a training center, and uh, what is main purpose of our training center is to bridge the gap between industry and academics. Right? Whatever you are learning as a theory, that we are that is perfectly okay. Theoretical part is perfectly okay, but our demand is little different in line with our uh, wind mill. So how power generation takes place, what are the electronic equipment, what are the mechanical equipments are there. So we will bring you into more detail and we will groom you during three months training. We will groom students training in line with our uh, requirement. Right? We have got more than 6000 windmill in uh, various states like Rajasthan, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh and uh, we have more than 2,000 staff also. They are all engineers, maximum diploma engineers, diploma electrical, mechanical, civil. We are recruiting students from all the branches and we are trying our best to give them posting in that particular states so that they can perform better and there is a no language issue and all these things. So, with this, I will uh, uh, request my technical expert, Mr. Sarat Choudhury. He will take over and he will give you brief about uh, mechanical aspect like bearing, lubrication and gear, right? That thing he will try to cover in detail. And after this also, if you have any question, you can just ask us whatever amount of, whatever you would like to know about our field, our operation and our practices, you can ask us any question, right? So with this, once again, I am thankful to uh, Patil sir, your principal sir, Bala sir and Jaswanji for inviting us and giving us platform to interact all budding engineers. You are our economy, you are young generation and you are and we people, we are strengthening our economy, we are, we are here to strengthen our economy of our country, right? So. And one more thing I would like to, on this uh, platform, I would like to request your principal sir, if uh, he can include some portion of wind energy mechanical syllabus, especially as far as whatever practices we are doing, then again that will be more helpful to us to group you. Okay, so with this, I will hand over to Sarad. Sarad will talk with our uh, Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. So, today we will get a brief idea about the wind turbine, how it works. Okay. 
So all of you familiar familiar about wind turbines? What is wind turbine? You know? Can anybody tell me what is wind turbine? From third third row. You are familiar or not? Hello. Yes or no? Okay. So basically. Wind turbine is a device which convert the wind energy or the kinetic energy of wind into mechanical energy with the help of blades. Okay, and then it will be converted. Okay, wind turbine करता क्या है? What is function of wind turbine? कि जो kinetic energy रहता है wind का, so wind में kinetic energy रहता है, सबको पता होगा. So wind turbine blades रहता है, convert करता है kinetic energy को mechanical energy में या rotary motion में, ठीक है? And this rotary motion will be converted into electrical energy. So, how does it work? With the help of electrical generator. Okay. This concept is known to you about wind turbines. Okay. So, basically, wind turbine is a device which converts kinetic energy into electrical energy. Okay. Or electrical power. So, today we discuss about the different aspects of the wind turbines. So, mechanically, we will cover. But first of all, we will discuss some basic things. Okay. Why wind is created? So basically, wind क्यों create होता है? Due to the temperature difference, ठीक है? So wind create होने का reason क्या है? Due to the uneven heating of earth surface, or due to the Coriolis force, or due to the temperature difference, okay? जब temperature difference रहेगा, तब wind create होगा, ठीक है? तो हमको पता है, on the earth surface there are different different water bodies available, different different vegetative growth is there, plantation is there, due to which क्या होगा wind temperature आपका जो wind का है temperature vary करेगा अलग अलग area से ठीक है अगर वहाँ पे sea body रहेगा sea रहेगा तो क्या होगा वहाँ पे temperature अलग रहेगा ठीक है ground रहेगा plain ground तो temperature अलग रहेगा ठीक है तो उसके वजह से क्या होगा uneven heating होगा और उसके वजह से wind flow करेगा ठीक है तो इसके वजह से हमारा wind turbine work करता है due to uneven heating of the earth surface and wind will be created and we can produce the power Type of conversion will be there. You can see, kinetic energy is converted first into mechanical energy, and then it is converted into electrical energy. Okay, is it clear? Now there are classification of wind turbines. अलग-अलग classification होता है, ठीक है? So first, according to the axis of turbine, ठीक है? Axis मतलब क्या होता है कि जिस axis के around आपका विंड टर्बाइन रोटेट करता है या फिर विंड टर्बाइन ब्लेड्स रोटेट करता है ठीक है सो पहला कौन सा टाइप है उसमें हॉरिजॉन्टल एक्सिस टर्बाइन ठीक है एच ए डब्ल्यू टी बोलते हैं उसको हॉरिजॉन्टल एक्सिस विंड टर्बाइन ठीक है तो उसमें क्या रहता है डायरेक्शन ऑफ रोटेटर रोटेशन ऑफ ब्लेड और एक्सिस ऑफ रोटेशन ऑफ ब्लेड इज पैरल टू द हॉरिजॉन्टल और पैरल टू द ग्राउंड ठीक है एक्सिस कैसा रहेगा पैरल टू द ग्राउंड तो जनरली इंडिया में आपने देखा होगा मोस्ट ऑफ टर्बाइंस आर ऑफ दिस टाइप ठीक है ये टर्बाइन्स आपको ज्यादा देखने को मिलेंगे इंडिया में ठीक है और ये कमर्शियली फिजिबल डिजाइन है ठीक है कमर्शियली फिजिबल डिजाइन मींस ये आपको प्रॉफिट दे दिलाएगा ठीक है कौन सा हॉरिजॉन्टल एक्सिस विंड टर्बाइन्स सेकंडली वर्टिकल एक्सिस टर्बाइन्स आर आल्सो देयर सो उसका एक्सिस जो रहेगा वर्टिकल रहेगा और जनरली उसका जो जनरेटर एंड गियर बॉक्स है इट इज प्रेजेंट ऑन द ग्राउंड ठीक है ऊपर नहीं रहेगा ग्राउंड पे रहेगा इन केस ऑफ वर्टिकल एक्सिस बट इट इज नॉट कमर्शियली फिजिबल डिजाइन ठीक है Understood? It's not profitable. Nahi hai. That's why most of the turbines uh, we are having is of horizontal axis type. Then second criteria, upwind turbine and downwind turbine. Okay, so some turbines are designed in, uh, in which the blades are facing wind direction. Okay, after the blade or rotor area, some of the part hai, usko wind strike karega. Okay, usko bolte upwind turbine. Okay, but dusra hai downwind turbine. Downwind mein kya hota hai? Ki नेसल वेसेस द विंड डायरेक्शन अभी नेसल क्या होता है जिसमें आपका जनरेटर या गियर बॉक्स रहता है ठीक है तो बैक ऑफ द विंड टर्बाइन ब्लेड के अपोजिट वाला एंड पहले विंड को फेस करेगा या स्ट्राइक करेगा ठीक है उसको क्या बोलेंगे डाउन विंड टर्बाइन ठीक है उसके बाद अकॉर्डिंग टू ट्रांसमिशन सिस्टम देयर आर टू टाइप्स गियर टर्बाइन एंड गियरलेस टर्बाइन ठीक है गियर मतलब क्या होगा 
गेयरबॉक्स इज प्रेजेंट ठीक है वहां पे गेयर बॉक्स रहेगा ठीक है गेयर बॉक्स क्या करता है बेसिकली इट विल इंक्रीज द आउटपुट स्पीड और आउटपुट आरपीएम ठीक है आउटपुट आरपीएम को बढ़ाएगा बाई दी गियर रेशियो ठीक है जो भी गियर रेशियो रहेगा उतने उसके मल्टीप्लीकेशन में वो आउटपुट आरपीएम को बढ़ाएगा ठीक है सो इन गियर टर्बाइन वी आर यूजिंग दी असिंक्रोनस जनरेटर ठीक है असिंक्रोनस एंड सिंक्रोनस जनरेटर पता होगा सबको बेसिकली थेरी में पढ़ा होगा आपने सर लोग इट इज ऑलरेडी गोवर्ड इन थेरी आई थिंक आपके सिलेबस में रहेगा ठीक है तो जो गियर टर्बाइन रहेगा जिसमें गियर बॉक्स प्रेजेंट रहता है उसमें जनरली असिंक्रोनस जनरेटर यूज किया जाता है या उसको इंडक्शन जनरेटर बोलते हैं ठीक है सेकेंडली गियरलेस विंड टर्बाइन कुछ कुछ विंड टर्बाइन ऐसे हैं जैसे हमारा विंड वर्ल्ड का ठीक है उसमें गियर बॉक्स प्रेजेंट नहीं रहता है ठीक है देर इज नो एनी गियर बॉक्स प्रेजेंट बिटवीन दी रोटर एंड दी जनरेटर ठीक है डायरेक्टली कपल रहेगा आपका रोटर जितना आरपीएम घूमेगा उतना ही आपका जनरेटर का रोटर घूमेगा ठीक है तो आरपीएम विल बी सेम उस केस में ये जनरेटर कौन सा हो गया इट इज कॉल्ड एज सिंक्रोनस जनरेटर ठीक है इसको क्या बोलेंगे सिंक्रोनस सिंक्रोनस मीन्स जितना आपका ब्लेड का या रोटर का स्पीड रहेगा या आरपीएम रहेगा इज सेम एज जनरेटर आरपीएम ठीक है तो इस केस में हम सिंक्रोनस जनरेटर यूज करते हैं देन अकॉर्डिंग टू नंबर ऑफ ब्लेड सिंगल ब्लेड डिजाइन इज देयर टू ब्लेड डिजाइन इज देयर डबल ब्लेड एंड मल्टी ब्लेड ठीक है सो जनरली इसमें तीनों में फिजिकल कौन सा है कमर्शियली आपका थ्री ब्लेड डिजाइन ठीक है थ्री ब्लेड डिजाइन में ऑल द मोमेंट्स ऑफ फोर्सेस आर बैलेंस ठीक है दैट्स व्हाई इट इज फिजिबल सो मोस्ट ऑफ टर्बाइन्स आर ऑफ दिस थ्री ब्लेड टाइप ठीक है तीन ब्लेड के टर्बाइन आपको ज्यादा दिखेंगे अंडरस्टूड यहां तक समझ में आया सबको क्लियर है तो ये कुछ फोटोग्राफ्स है वर्टिकल एक्सिस टर्बाइन वर्टिकल एक्सिस विंड टर्बाइन दीज आर दी ओरिजेंटल एक्सिस यू कैन सी ओरिजेंटल एक्सिस विंड टर्बाइन ओके डिफरेंट डिफरेंट डिजाइन आर अवेलेबल एंड अपविंड एंड डाउन विंड यू कैन सी Upwind design in which blade faces wind direction first, and second downwind in which nacelle faces wind first. Okay. So with the photograph, you will have some idea. Then basically, this type of structure is there for the gear turbine. Okay. You can see the design. So this is the basic design for the gear turbine. You can see. So rotor is there, gear box is there. And then generator is there, which is a synchronous generator. Then this is the general construction of our turbine, individual turbine, okay, which is gearless design. There is no any gear box. This is our 53 model. So WW 53 means what? Its strap diameter is 53 mm. Okay, strap diameter is 53 meter. Okay. So it will cover the 53 meter area in complete rotation. Okay, understood? Swept so dia concept. So it is volume covered by the blade or diameter of the blade, or it is equal to the length of two blades. Okay, two into L. So you can see different different components are there. First of all, rotor is there. So we will discuss one by one. So this is our technology, gearless variable speed, variable pitch control. Okay. So this is basic technology of wind world. Okay. Gearless variable speed, variable pitch control. Okay. So generator speed is depends on the speed of the wind because it is directly coupled. It is not constant. It is variable speed design. So there are different different components of wind turbine. So we'll start from foundation. So basically, all all of you know about foundation. Okay, foundation is there. First component that is prepared for the wind turbine. Okay, foundation. So foundation basically supports the wind. Okay, foundation basically supports the wind. So there are various types of foundation you can. See. These are the various layouts of the foundation. Circular foundation are there. Octagonal are there. Then Pocket foundation is there. ठीक है, cross beam foundation आ गया. So different different foundations आ गए. This is based on the soil's load bearing capacity. Okay, according to the load bearing capacity, we have to adopt 
any one of these okay according to the load bearing capacity of the soil then tower so tower what tower will do tower provide the sufficient height to extract the maximum energy from the wind okay so tower kya karta hai ki wind turbine ko itna height deta hai taki wo wind mein available jo kinetic energy hai usme se maximum energy wo absorb kar sake theek hai so maximum efficiency kya rehta hai efficiency of conversion is 59% approximately equal to 59% matlab wind mein jo kinetic energy rehta hai usme se only 59% hi turbine aaj tak jo design bane hai 59% ki extract kar sakta hai theek hai isse zyada nahi kar sakta theek hai so bates law agar kisi ko idea hoga bates law is there so it will tell this concept theek hai so 59% hi hum extract kar sakte hai aaj tak as per current design okay so tower kya karega ek sufficient height dega taki aapka turbine zyada se zyada wind energy ko convert kar sake electrical energy mein then nacelle so nacelle basically is a housing for the different wind turbine component whether it is mechanical or electrical component theek hai nacelle kya hota hai ek covering rehta hai jo aapke electrical components jo hai machine ke ya mechanical components hai theek hai इलेक्ट्रिकल कंपोनेंट्स में आपका जनरेटर आएगा डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कैबिनेट्स आर देयर ओके डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पैनल्स आर देयर ओके तो उसको ये कवर या प्रोटेक्शन प्रोवाइड करेगा ठीक है और दूसरा क्या है ना मैकेनिकल कंपोनेंट ठीक है जैसे आपका गियर बॉक्स हो गया जनरेटर हो गया या यो मोटर्स हो गया ठीक है ये सब को ये प्रोटेक्शन प्रोवाइड करेगा नेसल ठीक है सो इट विल जस्ट लाइक एज अ हाउसिंग फॉर द ऑल कंपोनेंट्स हाउसिंग दिस एक्ट करेगा देन हब सो हब is a rigid component ठीक है cast iron component so it will cave uh, three blades 120 degree apart from each other ठीक है जो तीनों blade रहेगा wind turbine का उसको properly positioned करके रखेगा 120 degree apart ठीक है so how carries blades okay then blades are there so aerodynamic aerodynamic design is there so it will convert the energy into the mechanical energy wind energy into mechanical and mechanical एनर्जी को जनरेटर इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी में कन्वर्ट करेगा ठीक है उसके बाद एनोमीटर एंड विंड वेल ये आपने सुना होगा एनोमीटर एंड विंड वेल ठीक है सो बेसिकली एनोमीटर इज अ डिवाइस व्हिच इज यूज्ड टू मेजर द विंड स्पीड ठीक है विंड का स्पीड कितना है मीटर पर सेकंड में ये मेजर करने के लिए यूज किया जाता है इट इज वन टाइप ऑफ सेंसर ठीक है प्रॉक्सिमिटी सेंसर या उसमें जो एनकोडर रहता है ठीक है स्पीड एनकोडर सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस इट कैन मेजर द विंड स्पीड ठीक है इट इज प्रेजेंट ऑन टॉप ऑफ द विंड मिल सो नेसल के ऊपर आपको वो दिखेगा एनोमीटर ठीक है उसके बाद विंड वेल विंड वेल का फंक्शन क्या है इट विल डिटेक्ट द डायरेक्शन ऑफ विंड ठीक है सो जिस डायरेक्शन में विंड आएगा उस डायरेक्शन में मशीन को ब्रिंग करने के लिए सिग्नल देगा ये क्या विंड वेल सो इट इज अगेन वन टाइप ऑफ सेंसर ठीक है सो दिस आर दिस प्रेजेंट इन ऑल टर्बाइंस विंड वेल एंड एनोमीटर ओके देन अ लैडर so what is ladder ladder is to assess the turbine or to get at the top of the turbine theek hai so machine ke upar jaane ke liye jo ladder use karte hain hum wo hum ladder se hoke jayenge theek hai to kuch kuch turbines aise hain jisme lift bhi use kiya jata hai theek hai lift is also there so lift ke help se bhi upar ja sakte hain jis machine mein lift nahi hai wahan pe manually humko climb karke ladder se jana padta hai for different breakdown or maintenance purpose preventive maintenance or breakdown purpose then pitch system is there so what is pitch system so pitch system will facilitate the blade pitch in and pitch out operation theek hai so if we need to stop the turbine or we need to manually stop the turbine what we have to do we have to make the blades parallel to the wind direction okay so that wind will not strike on blade so for that purpose this pitch system is there so when we pitch out the turbine blades it will stop or rpm will reduce or it will come to the stand still condition theek hai तो पिच इन पिच आउट होता है पिच आउट का फंक्शन क्या है कि एक एरोडायनामिक ब्रेकिंग अप्लाई करता है मशीन को मशीन का जो आरपीएम है वो कम कर देगा या स्टॉप कर देगा जब हम ब्लेड को पिच आउट करेंगे बिकॉज ब्लेड विल बी पैरेलल टू द विंड डायरेक्शन ठीक है परपेंडिकुलर जब रहेगा ब्लेड विंड डायरेक्शन को तभी वो रोटेट करेगा अगर पैरेलल रहेगा देन इट विल नॉट रोटेट और इट विल रोटेट विद वेरी लो आरपीएम देन योर सिस्टम इज देयर सो बेसिकली योर सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ योर ड्राइवर्स so in our machine there are four your drives your drive is nothing but your motor and gear boxes okay so motor is there gear box is there and 
bearing is there. Okay, so three components are there, major components: your motor, okay, your gearbox, and your bearing. Okay, so we are having a bearing. Sorry, the bearing having single row of balls. Okay, so single row of balls during for the yawing operation. Then we are using four stage epicyclic gearbox, compound epicyclic gearbox in the yawing system. Okay. So these things you have already studied in your basics or your academics. Okay. So four stage gearboxes are there, two stage gearboxes are there. Then there are there are different types: epicyclic gearbox. Then our synchro mesh gearboxes are there, constant mesh. So in that we are using compound epicyclic gear train in the turbines for this yaw drive and the pitch drive. Okay. The same for the pitch system also. This system consists of pitch drive, then pitch bearing, okay, and pitch motor. Okay. In generator. So basically, we all know purpose of generator or function is to convert the mechanical energy into the electrical energy. Then XL pin is there. XL pin is like a shaft. Okay, it is like a shaft. But in in our case, it is stationary. In windward turbines, it is stationary one, and all the rotating components are rotated over the XL pin. Okay, so it is mounted on the XL pin, and through the bearing, it will rotate on the XL pin. Then main carrier is there. So main carrier is nothing but the nacelle component, which is stationary, and it is fixed on the yaw bearing. Okay. So whenever wind direction changes, yaw system will get signal to the wind vane, and it will turn the machine or it will bring the machine in the direction of wind, so that wind will uh, machine will face maximum wind and generate more. Okay. Purpose क्या है यहाँ system का कि आपका मशीन एक wind direction में जाए जहाँ से ज़्यादा wind आ रहा है उस direction में जाए और एक्सट्रैक्ट करें मैक्सिमम विंड एनर्जी ओके सो दिस इज द बेसिक पर्पस ऑफ द यॉइंग सिस्टम मशीन को विंड डायरेक्शन में लेके जाना है और ज्यादा से ज्यादा विंड से काइनेटिक एनर्जी को एक्सट्रैक्ट करके उसको इलेक्ट्रिसिटी से में कन्वर्ट करना है सो दिस टाइप ऑफ टावर इज देयर जस्ट सी द फोटोग्राफ सो इन आवर डिजाइन देयर आर टू टावर्स स्टील टावर एज वेल एज द कंक्रीट टावर स्टील टावर भी है और कंक्रीट टावर भी है ठीक है सो स्टील टावर इज ऑफ 56 मीटर हाइट एंड कंक्रीट टावर इज ऑफ 74 मीटर हाइट ओके दिस इज बेसिक कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ मशीन यू कैन सी सो द फ्रंट पार्ट वेयर ब्लेड इज कनेक्टेड इज नोन एज रोटर ठीक है उसको रोटर बोलते हैं और पीछे वाला पार्ट अपोजिट टू रोटर इज नोन एज मोशन यू कैन सी योर मोटर आर देयर योर ड्राइव्स आर देयर सो ऑल दिस कंपोनेंट्स आर देयर दैट वी हैव डिस्कस लोड विंच इज देयर सो विंच इज देयर फॉर मटेरियल अप डाउन पर्पस So whenever we need some material at that height of 74 meter or 56 meter, we need to use the winch, okay, to take the material out. This is our hub, rotor hub. Okay, so it will keep the blades 120 degree apart from each other. Then you can see the blades, blades of wind turbine. So leading edge is there, trailing edge is there in the blades. So basically, the edge which faces the wind is known as leading edge, and the opposite edge of the blade is known as the trailing edge. Okay. Then this is wind vane and anemometer. You can see. so one lightning conductor is there so in any season if there is lightning then this lightning conductor will take care of it okay it will passes the light and ground it through the earth okay so that's why this lightning conductor is given on the top wind vane is there and anemometer is there. this is the ladder for climb the turbine or to get at the top of the turbine This is your system. You can see your drive and your bearing. So in your bearing, we are using the single row balls during. Okay, single row balls during. 
<coughs> and pitch, pitch bearing we are using double row boss lurie. Okay. Then gearbox we have already discussed. Here in your system we are using four stage gearbox compound EP cyclic gear train. Okay. And in pitch system we are using two stage gearbox. Again, compound EP cyclic gear train is used. Generator you can see we are using ring type generator here, which is synchronous type. So 60 poles are there, 60 poles. This is the axle pin, you can see it will support all the rotating parts. All the rotating parts of turbine are supported by the axle pin with the bearings. So here we are using two bearings, you can see red color. Two red colors are there on the axle pin. So these are basically two bearings which are tapered roller bearings. Okay, tapered roller bearings we are using. And you can see the main carrier. So axle pin will get bolted onto this main carrier. Okay. So it is a stationary part of the axle. Bottom end of this carrier will be connected with the yaw bearing. Okay. So it will rotate. It will rotate in the wind direction when yaw end takes place. So these are all the models available. 30 is there, 30 is generated, 230 kilowatt, 33 is there, generated 300 kilowatt, then 40 is there, 600 kilowatt, 43, 48 and 53 is generated 800 kilowatt. So this is some technical detail about the wind turbine. So blade weight is around 2.5 ton or 2550 kg. Generator you can see 60 poles are there. Then straighter 360 slots are there. So that's all. Thank you all.